Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You might recall in a recent video I covered some upgrades to Leechy. In that I mentioned a key piece of functionality that was still missing was the ability to create mapping missions. There was a hint that this was coming though, so I've been keeping an eye on it and I'm thrilled to announce that day has arrived. This is a game changer for Leechy as everything is finally in one place without the need to mess around with third party software. Here I'll walk you through the entire process. I'll start with how to install the software and access the new Leechy pilot system for planning. Then we'll plan a simple mapping mission, exploring how to adjust key settings like overlap, and then we'll head out to watch it fly. So let's get started. First up, this is still an open beta, so use at your own risk. And if you do find something of note, then be kind and add a comment to the open beta feedback page, which I'll link to in the description. Right, let's start by talking about the software you need on your Android phone or tablet. The software you need is called Leechy Pilot. You'll know if you have the right one because it's got a black and white icon instead of the color icon. This is Android only, so I'm afraid if all you have is an Apple device, then you're out of luck. This is because DJI has not released its SDK for iOS, so it's not the fault of the Leechy people. Because it's beta software, you will need to install it directly on your phone. I did that by downloading the APK from the beta forum, and I'll add a link to where you can find that on the screen and put it in the description. Exactly how you install it will depend on your device, but usually after you download, you'll have the option to open the file and follow the instructions to install. Be sure to give it all the access it needs when asked or it's likely it's not going to work properly. Now that you have that installed, we can jump over to the Leechy Hub website. Again, this is different to the standard Leechy page, but can be accessed by going to hub.flyleechy.com. Once there, use the login on the right hand side. Assuming you already have a Leechy account, your old Leechy login should work fine. If you don't have one, you can create one here. If you want to find an existing flight, you can click on the folder icon in the bottom left. Note that missions created using the old system won't show up here, and we can discuss how to move those over in a future video if people need that. Now position the map in the area you want to start mapping. You can do that by using the My Location tool, which looks like a little target if you are in that area, or by using the search tool to find the area you want to map. Now start a new mission plan by clicking anywhere on the map. A box will appear with two options, Waypoint and Area Mapping. Click on Area Mapping, give it a name, select the drone you'll be using, and then press Create. Now we'll start setting things up by clicking on the map. Note that the first click sets the expected start location. Once that's set, map out the area you want by simply clicking on the corners of the area and finish by clicking on the first location, which will have a little check mark in it. When you click on the check mark to finish, a mapping mission will be created with some default parameters. If you need to adjust the location of any map markers, you can just hover over an existing marker until it changes color and then click and drag it to where you need it to be. If you need to add a marker, then you can do so by clicking on one of the gray markers that will be between two of the existing points and then just drag that to the new location. You can right click on any point and delete it or there are undo and redo buttons at the bottom in case you need to back out a change. Now let's dive into those settings to make sure they're what we need. To do that, click on the flight settings icon in the bottom left and the details will pop up. This will show a summary of the flight, including time, photos and area. If you select onboard under the flight engine, then this will allow you to create a KML file, which you can export and use to replace a dummy mission on any of the modern drones without an SDK, such as the Mavic 3 Pro. But since I have a Mini 4 Pro, which does have the SDK, I'll be using the Leechy flight engine. You can select if you want the drone to follow the terrain here by selecting above ground or above takeoff. 
If you select above ground, it will use the takeoff location you set with the first click as the reference point for adjusting the altitude, and we'll combine that data with ESRI data from the area. Note that this is not always accurate, so use with caution. Here, I'm going to use above takeoff. Now set your altitude or your ground sample distance. I think it's great that they've included GSD as this is a much more accurate way of setting up missions once you know what you're doing. For this test, I'm going to leave the standard settings. Now let's open up the advanced tab by clicking on the down arrow. Here you have access to features that allow you to change the flight direction, gimbal angle, and overlaps. These all look fine for my test. Note that I don't have to save, it saves automatically as you make changes, and so it already shows up in the list of missions. Now let's connect this to my Mini 4 Pro and take it outside. One important thing to realize is that you can't run these on the DJI RCs unless you have a DJI RC Pro. That's because the standard DJI RCs block you from installing third party software. Because of that, I have a DJI RC N2 for my Mini 4 Pro, and I've connected that for this flight along with my Galaxy phone. If you don't have a controller that's compatible with the SDK, then you might be able to use the onboard option we mentioned earlier, but that would be covered in a different video. Make sure you don't have any other software such as the DJI Fly app running, and if you do, close out of them. Then start the Leechy Pilot app. Touch the icon on the top left to select the mode and set that to waypoint. Click on the folder to locate your saved mission and find the mission you want to run. Maps have a little grid icon, which is ironic given that it doesn't yet support grid missions. Once loaded, press the play button. A pop-up will appear and you can select the starting point. This will be useful for multi-battery missions as you can get it to jump to a point in the mission when restarting. That's not as nice as some of the better mapping options, such as Drone Link, which will automatically return to the last photo point, but it's not the end of the world either. Now press Start and watch it take off. Flight starting. There are buttons on the left that you can use to pause or stop the mission if necessary. Once it reaches the start point, it will point the camera down and start taking photos. You can switch between camera and map view by tapping the window in the corner. Once it finishes, it will return to home if that's what you set in the mission. Flight ended. You can now download the photos collected and process them in your favorite software. I processed these in WebODM and the results came out great. So there you have it. Mapping in Lychee has finally arrived. As I mentioned, it's still in beta, so use at your own risk, but overall, it looks pretty good. It's still missing a few key features that the more advanced software has, such as the ability to automatically create grid flights, and it has no RTK capability. So if you want to do precision mapping, you're going to need to set out GCPs. But this is a big step forward for Lychee, and it's going to make a lot of people very happy. Anyway, that's it for another video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to make sure you receive future updates and I'll see you in the next video.